Hello and welcome to part 21 of the Build Diary. Now for the moment you can ignore that wood behind me that we'll be cutting to size later because first we'll be removing all of these clamps and declaring the first of the uh, corner posts built. Well, apart from the penultimate one that seemed to have got covered in glue, that was a fairly painless operation. So let's see if we can get the thing vertical and uh, we'll have a, a look at it. Uh, now the person whose instructions I'm following uh, proudly said of these things, Oh, they should be able to stand on their own. Mm, somehow I think not but you can see the distinct design features of the Thomas Yardley Jones box taking shape here that you don't get on the modern TARDIS props. This lovely round corner piece which gives it a softer edge. And each of these corner posts has three of these. And you can see, probably not very well, how slightly iffy some of these joins are. They are all still holding so this will now go into storage as our second completed part yay and uh, we'll cut to size some wood for the second corner post and uh, now all that remains for now is to get um, three quadrants to seven and a half foot long yes I am operating in Imperial but then I am operating from instructions from someone from New Zealand so yeah, uh, it did strike me that I can do all of this measuring at once, even if we have to do the cutting individually.
sun has rapidly deserted us, so the sunglasses and hat are gone for now too. And of course, as soon as I take my hat off, out comes the sun. So uh, we're going to leave stuff there for now today. And then the rest of this video I'll shoot tomorrow. And will consist of um, sticking the first of these quadrants down for corner post 2. Hello, or as they say in the world of daytime television, welcome back. Uh, 24 hours approximately have passed. Uh, it's now Sunday. And I'm going to start work on the second of the four corner posts. Uh, but first, uh, there's wood behind me because uh, that's a four inch wide bit of wood that's got to be uh, reduced in length. And as you can see already fixed into position is a six inch wide bit of wood that's got to be reduced in length. Uh, also slightly warped in storage unfortunately. So uh, let's get cutting. And now onto the four inch wide piece of wood, which has also slightly warped in storage.
Thank goodness for softwood, it's so much easier to cut than that hardwood of the six inch wide one. We're now on to a bit of the build that will be familiar to you if you've seen part 17 of the build diary. And if you haven't, go back and watch it right now. Well, you don't have to watch it immediately, it is quite long. But, uh, yeah, a test assembly of uh, this half of the uh, corner post and uh, both of these quadrants will be removed shortly. They're merely there at the moment to provide spacing so I can mark up the wood and know where they should go after the, uh, the four inch bit in the middle has been uh, glued down. So uh, let's set to with the pencil uh, before we set to with the glue. And due to the vagaries of the British summer, it looks like I'm going to have to find my sunglasses again now. So yeah, the next move will be to discard both of those quadrants and, uh, and we'll be at it again with Mr. Glue. Now it seems my pencil lines are not the clearest of things so I'm going to have to go over those a little bit before we get to the glue.
Time for Mr. Glue. And now, the fiddly bit. And now, of course, it's clamping time.
now all that remains is to uh, wipe a bit of this excess glue off and we'll get this thing into storage and for another week. It says a lot for the amount of pressure I managed to achieve with those clamps when some of the glue I've just been wiping out off has been coming out of the knots in the wood. So yeah, let's get this thing stored away.